Hello everybody, welcome back to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan. As ever, I am the IT Geek. I am back with a new series. I've obviously um, spent a lot of time doing the AZ140 series, the exam topic series, and, and I've kind of gone with a bit of a different angle now. We, we'll always come back to the exam topic series because obviously I think it helps a lot of people, but there's been a, a topic which has um, really interested me recently, and um, which is why I'm going to be it's why I'm launching this new series. So this is an introduction episode, really. Um, but um, basically what started as a, as a conversation has now led me into doing this this series. So essentially, um, I was at Nerdio.com and I was speaking to some from Microsoft and they were talking about, and again, recently, um, something called Azure Stack HCI has become GA with AVD. So obviously AVD being my passion, um, it was quite a hot topic at Nerdio.com and a lot of people at Microsoft were talking about it. Um, it just happens, I was talking to one of, the, one of the guys from Microsoft that was at the event as well. Um, and he mentioned there's a, a essentially a virtual version of Azure Stack HCI that you can put in your your, your, your tenant. Um, and it's available, and, and he kind of told me about it. He sent me your. I've been having a play with that. I thought, you know what, I really want to do a series around Azure Stack HCI. So um, this this essentially leads me to, to what this is. This is my intro um, episode into what is going to be my Azure Stack HCI series. So we're going to cover a lot of topics. So in this, um, you're going to see a couple of different things from me. Um, sticking with the same format of doing theory and, and demos. The demos are all going to be around Azure Stack HCI. I'm going to be deploying it in my, my Azure tenant. I'm going to be trying to inter, you know, integrate it with different services within Azure, including AVD, um, as well as Azure Arc. So I'm going to be loads, loads of cool stuff. Um, and each sort of area I'm going to be doing a couple of episodes on. So this, this is essentially just going through what you can expect um, in this series. So it's not going to be as long as my exam topic series. Uh, I'm trying out some different thumbnails as well. Um, which is quite cool. So we have a series breakdown. Um, we're going to talk about an introduction to Azure Stack. Uh, these are the sort of main topics I'm going to cover. We're going to then do like a few few episodes on an introduction to Azure Stack HCI core technologies. We'll then be looking to plan and deploy Azure Stack HCI, integrate AVD in Azure Stack HCI, and then integrate Azure Arc in Azure Stack HCI. So these are going to be the overarching topics. So one, two, three, four, five, six topics in total. But each of those topics I'm going to break down into multiple videos, multiple episodes, just because um, I want to try and cover it in, quite, in as much detail as I can, a bit of a deep dive really, but also there's a lot of stuff I want to do in the labs. Uh, you know, I want to deploy this, the Azure Stack HCI in my demo lab as a virtual virtual entity basically. And I want to kind of do see all the cool stuff we can do. So this is new to me as well, so um, hopefully we'll both learn together. So regarding the introduction to Azure Stack HCI, I'm probably going to talk about what is Azure Stack, for those who don't know. What is Azure? There's, there's different kind, kind of versions of a stack as well. So there's Hub, HCI, and Edge. So we're going through what they all are. Then we'll compare the three. So that's going to be sort of the first real episode, or the first. This is going to be the first topic. So those will be broken down into multiple episodes. Into Azure Stack HCI core technologies, I'll talk a little bit about what is Hyper V, what is Azure Stack HCI. What is Windows Server Defined Storage? What is Windows Server Defined Networking? So these are all the sort of subtopics I'm going to cover in that overarching uh, topic as well. So again, two or three episodes to go through that. We'll have a demo in each one, um, and the demo is just going to be going to carry on from where we left off last time. So this is like a journey of me configuring Azure Stack HCI in my demo tenant, integrating it with different technologies, as I said, and just seeing all the cool stuff we can do with it, really. And then, as I mentioned, the plan and deploy Azure Stack HCI. So quite quite a lot to cover in that topic. But these subtopics are going to be what are the use cases of Azure Stack HCI, planning for Azure Stack HCI workloads, deploying it. Obviously, we'll have deployed it in the lab already, but a bit of theory around deploying it. Because, again, I'm deploying it in a virtual environment. The actual Azure Stack HCI is actually a physical uh, it's a physical entity, so it's not something that you deploy virtually. Um, you, you kind of, you know, you, there's hardware involved. We'll then do a validate deployment of Azure Stack HCI and we'll then talk about integrating Azure Stack HCI with Azure. Um, and as we move along in the in, in this sort of series, I want to talk about integrating AVD with Azure Stack HCI. Again, went GA this year, very something close to my heart, something I've really wanted to play with for a while, so hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll do that together, we'll have a look at that together. So we'll talk about the benefits of Azure with Azure Stack HCI. Uh, that should be with the AVD. But then we'll look at the supported deployment configurations that are supported with the AVD with Azure Stack HCI. Licensing and pricing, and then some of the limitations. Because again, it's good to know all the cool stuff, but you also need to know where where there are limits and, and you know what what might be an issue. So again, if you're making if you're a business and making a decision around if this is the right way for you to go in your hybrid deployment, then really you need to know limitations. 
And then to finish off, we will look at the integrating Azure Arc with Azure Stack HCI. So obviously Azure Arc um, being the sort of monitoring and SIAM um, sort of area of uh, Microsoft Cloud. Uh, need to see how that integrates with Azure Stack HCI, which obviously a hybrid sort of deployment, uh, you know, integrated on premises. So look at the characteristics and capabilities of Azure Arc, Azure Arc manage the Azure Arc, uh, Stack HCI based virtualized workloads of Azure Arc. And monitor Azure Stack HCI clusters and their virtualized workloads with Azure Arc. So I'll try and do those demos around the time. So this will be a couple of episodes that the you know the AVD still will be a couple of episodes. So I'll try and do the labs around then as well. Again, I want to I want to try and keep my 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 videos to a certain time frame. I don't want to be going like you know 20, 30 minute videos. So I just I just I get bored as well <laughs> doing those. As I mentioned, I'm going to be doing demos. You're going to see the good old minions are still with me. We'll be seeing demo time every episode. Um, so there shouldn't be that many episodes. I think, you know, maybe talking about two to three episodes, but it's something I'm really looking forward to doing. Um, as you're at Stack HCI, generally a very hot topic, especially in the in the EUC world with it being now integrated with ABD. Um, so I thought, you know what, but, you know, before I go back to the exam topic stuff, which I am still going to do, and I'm still planning my Nerdio exam series for those that, that are waiting for that. I thought I'd do a little bit of a, uh, a bit of a, tangent and talk about your stack it's something that's really interesting me um so yeah that that's quick intro keep it short and sweet hopefully you you if again if, if you're looking if it's something you want to you know be part of and watch make sure you hit the subscribe button make sure you know you know make sure you notify her on the videos as well uh, i may even throw a, a special podcast in as well get a, get a, get someone on the channel with me who, who knows about your stack hci um so they can talk about that as well so we'll see though that's not promise anything they might do that as a special a special video so yeah thank you very much for watching and i hope you look forward to the videos coming up uh, but until next time goodbye